State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have all U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow is off 185, about a half a percent. S&P four tenths or 19 points. NASDAQ 100, half a percent, 81 points. Russell's off by two tenths. That's three points to the downside. Semi's off 46, one and three tenths. Gold trading up 1150, 1950, 50 is its print. That's up six tenths. Silver is uh, down. It's basically flat trading out of 25 tenths. Like to be crude off five dollars and ninety cents. One hundred one ninety is its print. Natural gas up thirteen pennies, five seventy four. You know we usually take this time and we go take a look at our indice charts, but we're going to shift gears here for a moment. We're just going to go to the play by play. When I mean play by play, we're going to go look at the thirty minute time frame charts, because here's what we've got. You have a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom now on the ES Mini for its 30 minute time frame. New profile that's forming. Price should basically find support where we're trading right now. If you do get a close below the low of the day, that's going to suggest we had lower. We do know where resistance is. It's this red oscillator and change line that's currently at the 50, 4581 level. The low of the day, by the way, is 4572.25. So a close below that says the short term time frames did not take hold. If they do take hold, you've got to get above the oscillator and change line. The NQ has a TD9 count bottom. That has been in place ever since this morning at 10 o'clock. So that level is being tested. That level, by the way, is the 149820 area. We can see we were taking a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. Uh, that was at 1.30. Price bounced uh, as we came in at 2 o'clock hour, right up to where? That red oscillator and change line. So that is a key level. That's currently printed at 15.016. I don't have a bottoming signal or pattern, I should say, on the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. Uh, we can suggest that if price were to close above its oscillator and change line, even without a bottom signal, that would be a bullish outcome. That's currently printed at 34,973. We do have a TD9 count bottom that has remained in place all morning. When I say all morning, I mean since 9.30 this morning. Um, but that is being tested right now. So that low to be watching is 2082.50. If there's a close below 2082.50, that's going to suggest lower price. Now, you would say lower price to where, Steve-O? And Steve-O would say lower price to 2075. That's the next TD9 count breakout level. So, folks, sorry we didn't get to the indice charts, but I thought maybe what would be helpful to you is the play-by-play. -play. David White, he'll give you the bigger picture, so stick around for that. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.